Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the multi-functioning hoppers plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which adds more features to the hopper that is in Minecraft. So it adds four different types. There is the break hopper, there is the mob grind hopper, the crop hopper and the mob hopper. So these all do various different things and we are going to go through all of them today. So first of all, the break hopper, what is it? Well, if you were to put an item such as diamond ore on top, it will break it up and it will go into loads of diamonds. So if we want to give ourselves one, we do MF hoppers give our username and then break hopper, for example. And then we can simply place it down and use it immediately. And also if you look inside it, it'll have a nice name tag as well. So let's go ahead and showcase it. So if we go ahead and pop the diamond ore on top, it will either immediately do it or take maybe 10 seconds and instead of getting only a few diamonds we'll probably get 10 so if we wait until the diamond gets chopped up um, sometimes it takes a while and there we go we get 10 diamonds from it which is a lot more than we get usually so that is how the break hopper works pretty straightforward but it helps to get more diamonds and stuff like that so next we can look at the mob grind hopper so this is really awesome you can either set it to manual or automatic so it teleports nearby mobs to the hopper and it either kills them or just leaves them there and freezes them so you can kill them so if i were to lead all of these pigs towards the hopper when they get in a certain radius they get teleported to the hopper and then they cannot move so that is how this works it's really awesome in the config file you can enable it to be automatic so you don't have to actually be around and what you can do is change it from one particular mob to another so by using forward slash convert hopper we can actually change um, various hoppers to something else so that's another command that we can do and obviously it costs money so the next hopper we're going to look at is the crop hopper and as the name would suggest it gets crops uh, that are in the nearby area and puts them in the hopper so if i destroy these cacti you'll see it hasn't gone up. Why is that? Well, I have linked it to a nearby chest using this plugin, and instead of going into the hopper, like so, they will go into this chest, and we have um, pretty much 100 uh, cacti in there now. So if I were to break all of this, and they will be teleported straight into the chest, and now it's gone up to 39. So that's what you can do for all of these different hoppers. You can just set a chest for it to be linked to. The final one is the uh, mob hopper, which collects mob drops. So we are going to kill some mobs and then link this one to a chest. Uh, so if I run about trying to kill these madly, um, we can see how it works. As you can see, there's lots of rotten flesh in there. But if we were to pop down the chest and then do forward slash link hopper while looking at the hopper and then shift right click the chest that we want to link it to, that will link the chest. So from now on, instead of going into the hopper, it will go into the chest. So if I dig a pit and then fill it with lots of awful zombies and just go about whacking them with my sword, um, we will see that the contents will actually go into the chest. Um, so it's pretty straightforward and I'm struggling to kill these zombies. So I'm going to fast forward this uh, because obviously not the best at combat. So there we go. If we look in the chest, there is six rotten flesh in there and that is pretty much how it works in game. So it's really awesome, really easy to use, and it's very straightforward. It adds loads of cool features to hoppers that you wouldn't usually have, uh, but that is everything in game. We are going to go into the config file now and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there are a few different files. If we go into lang.yml, this is the text file, so it has everything you will see in chat. Um, so you don't really need to mess around with that at all. Then if we go into the config.yml, this is the main file which has all the different hoppers in. So up at the top, we can have it auto save every 60 seconds. And then we have all the different hopper types. So the first one is the grind hopper. So that's the one with the mobs. And what you can do, you can limit it to how many you want per chunk. Um, so it doesn't lag. We have the name and law of the hopper and do we want it to drop from explosions like creepers on TNT and then we have information about it so the title the time it takes the damage uh, whether it stacks the kills and whether you want it on auto so if you want it on auto put this onto another line so it goes blue and there's no pound sign before it and then it will be automatic at killing the mobs and obviously we have the default mob up here pig 
and any mobs that you do not want, so ender dragon, stuff like that. Go down a bit further and we have the mob hopper and the crop hopper. There's not too much here you can edit, so you can change the obviously name, inventory title, the lore, and the different drops that it will use, as well as if you want to limit it per chunk as well. Scroll down even more, we have the break hopper. So this is the one that broke the diamond door into 10 diamonds. Um, so it will take 10 seconds and it will give you 10 diamonds. If you want to use a range, you can do something like this. So one hyphen five, and it will choose a random number between them. Scroll down even more and we have some information about converting one of the grinders. So it will cost you $1,000 and you can set each grinder to a certain amount. So cow, for example, could be 1500 or you could have, I don't know, Creeper for 10,000. And then you can also blacklist certain mobs down here. Scroll down towards the bottom, we have the option to allow multiple hoppers to be linked to one container. Do you want that? And uh, that is the majority of it. And then there's uh, information about using a diamond block to upgrade a hopper. So that is a quick overview of the plugin. It's really fantastic. It's been made very well and it's just awesome. So obviously if you want to download it, you can head over to the Spigot page and download it for free. Um, it's got some great information here and if you still need more help, there is Discord here and there is a wiki. So make sure you look at that. And if you want a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time. Thank you.